Sagittarius, oh, who's on your mind? I mean, someone is stuck on your mind. Pisces energy could definitely be a Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, or someone with those placements. I've been waiting to do your reading. I've kind of been meditating on you guys for some time. So let's just see where you are, Sagittarius. A fiery climax is approach. Aries energy in the reverse and have faith in your dreams. Is there anything else? That's a fire energy, but it's not necessarily your energy. Something may not be picking up. You can feel like with someone you're on, you're heading in the wrong direction. Sagittarius, there's a sense of playing too much. Look at the bigger picture in the reverse. You're not seeing it. I don't know what it is that you're not seeing, but either you're not seeing something for what it really is, or you don't you don't have the capacity to go there mentally. Whereas though someone is like forcing you to take a look at your life. Again, meditate and contemplate. So I have this fiery climax approaches. Yeah, it's something about okay, that. Okay. Here we go. Wait. Because that Pisces energy keep wanting to come out for you guys. I don't know who you're dealing with. But it's like something is telling you to stop focusing on the quick. The right here, right now. Stop. That fire energy that moving too fast is not leading you in the right direction. You could be doing something based off ego. And yeah, with the win-win outcome in the reverse. No. That's not working for you. They're telling you to take a deeper look into your life, your life, where you are, where you stand with people, not just in love in general. Maybe there's a conversation that you need to have and you're not having, but if you do, it's kind of like things will be a little bit different than what you think. I'm also hearing be bold and take the first move. Like nothing will come of the situation is in the reverse, meaning you'll be surprised. It's also telling you to bring love into the situation, Aquarius energy, but you got to be bold and make that first move. You have a lot of messages wanting to come out. It's something that's on your mind. It's something that's really on your mind or someone. So again, Aries, Aquarius, Libra, your energy, Sagittarius, Pisces. What is it that you need to make the first move on? Is it Allowing someone into your heart, telling someone how you really feel, going above, going beyond being scared, even though you could be fearful of the rejection. There's something like that going on. It's like there's a fear here. Normally, Sagittarius, you guys are willing to like go at it, but either someone or something isn't really that type of person that you can just come quick at. You have to. All the fire energy is in a reverse. So you have to tap into your inner knowing. This is something, it's telling you, you can't move from passion on this. Logically, it's not going to work for you. You got to come from a place of emotion. And that's when the shift is going to happen in your life, okay? I'm going to pull an oracle card and let's just see. Yeah, even a fire card here is in a reverse telling me you, you can't. It, you can't go about something the way you've been going about it. Projection. Yeah, you can't. You're going to have to sit down and really think about this one. Maybe something that someone said. Maybe something that, you know, your job. You, you really have to be. You can't be strategic to win. You have to be genuine. Sensitivity. Yeah. This could be someone that you really love. Someone that you are thinking about marrying. I hear communication. But you, again, it's not going to work. How you, However you've been going at things isn't going to work that way. You got to do something a little different with this person. But I feel like the outcome will be amazing. Expect the power for change is here. But you got to bring love. You got to come from a place of love, prayer. You have to be genuine. Yeah. Yeah, message, power in a reverse. Figure out how you're going to come about something. Go at something in a different way. And I feel like it's, it's with love. 
it's it's love. I have the fake card, Will of Fortune. That's kind of the way you're supposed to be going. All right. Like, if you plan on marrying somebody, here's the communication at the bottom of the deck again. Taking a risk. Certainty. It's like taking a risk on this would be great. But the thing about it is, let's just say you've always been a player. And you've always been able to get away with something because of your looks. Or you always been away, you can always get away with something based on, you know, the amount of money you have. That's not going to work. Or it hasn't been working. The Eight of Swords. And this is what has you trapped mentally. Somebody is going to get the fuck away. <laughs> like, somebody says, uh-uh. Like, that's not what they're looking for. Someone is looking for love. The Eight of Cups in the reverse. Here's this Pisces energy again. The number eight can be someone like that, like important. It's some type of importance. All right, any more information on Sagittarius? Let's go into the deck. Punishment. Five of Cups. Okay, yeah. So trying, like, you're hurting yourself trying not to fall for someone that you like. Or someone is hurting themselves. But I feel like I'm talking to you. The Emperor card. His marriage here. Got Aries energy. The Star. I also have Aquarius energy here again. You are... You're fighting really hard. I don't know why you're fighting against this love or fighting against this energy, but it's kind of like what you're fighting for. So you're fighting against something that's going to actually bring you healing and stability. But I have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, so it's not anything that you're trying to focus on right now. You can be everything to a person in a situation, especially if it's like an earth sign person, maybe an Aries. It's like you could be everything to this person, but it's kind of one-sided. There isn't an equal give and take. Maybe you pay for more things, or maybe everything comes from you. The two of swords. <clears throat> There's someone else in your energy. There's someone else in your energy. I have the temperance card. I have the priest card and I have the lover's card. Gemini energy. There's someone else who like tickles your fancy. The magician that you can't get off your mind. Ten of swords. This is that happiness that I'm telling you about. You keep trying to, you, you know something else will make you happy. You know the direction it could, I, I don't know, the moon card in the reverse is something that you're not speaking on, but you know. So to me, it can be a second party, a third party, or something else. Maybe like, you know, yeah, it's definitely a third party. Someone who's not communicating with you. The mirror, these are multiple women, but the queen of swords is like... It's a thought. Now it's a thought. Once was, once, once was here in person is now a thought. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so let's just say you were in a marriage. It's a lot of marriage energy here. Yeah, the Empress. It's something or someone can get you off their mind, Sagittarius, or you can't get someone else off your mind. There's the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups in the reverse. This is someone you never wanted to leave your life. You can't stop thinking about that one time. I don't know what that one time was, but you can't. The Ace of Wands in the reverse, and I have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You want them back. Like, you want them back, but I don't see you communicating to them i have the empress and the emperor so you could be married but you could want to be married to someone else or you could be married and you're done with it let me keep going you could be married and you've met someone yeah that just came out you could be married and you just fell in love with somebody else could be a water energy pisces cancer scorpio is what i'm seeing 
You could be in a relationship but met someone else who fulfills you. Because still here, not looking at this bigger picture, you have the star. Remember I told you that healing. You're still thinking about what could be with this person. And I'm seeing happiness. You have the sun card here. You have the ace of cups here. You have the empress here. So what went wrong? The deck is closed, but I feel like I'm, I'm not forcing it. But what went wrong? Okay, so the third party situation caused communication to stop. Somebody wanted to walk away. Somebody wanted to walk away from you from this third party situation if they found out about it. Yeah, something that wasn't discussed, the nine of wands in the reverse, this is you. This was something, this is like a sneaky link. Who didn't know they were a sneak, sneaky link? Maybe them stop, maybe them dropping this and the communication being off is what caused you to fall in love. This is what was unexpected. The two of cups and the tower card, the fact that you genuinely love this person. I don't want to say it's karma. I don't want to say it's fair, but I, I want to say, yeah, here's the queen of wands and a, the queen of wands and the ace of air. I'm sorry, and the king of air. I'm getting maybe you were being a creep or someone was being a creep towards you, Sash, to get what it is that they wanted. But you or they want, yeah, he or she wanted. And when the truth came out, somebody did. Yeah, the three of cups in the reverse. They left. Okay. Overwhelmed. It, when I tell you, you can't get over this, I'm telling you. Somebody is seriously in your energy. Either you or this person is thinking about the other. It's like nobody is making you feel what this person has made you feel. Look, your heart, my home. You feel abandoned. You're not saying that, but you is. Is it really over? I'm also getting like in a chat. No, I want you now. I miss you. Sex isn't happening. Somebody left. Yeah, your intuition. It's emotion. I don't know what this is. So, like, I want you now and I miss you. I'm going to go into the Romance Oracle deck. It's still somebody that you like. Look, the new love. It's not who you're with. This new, A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. That's what I'm saying. You could have been in a situation, but you found somebody else chemistry there's a strong magnetic traction here wedding in the reverse didn't i tell you this flirt energy give your relationship a chance and make the effort i'm telling y'all y'all may leave somebody to go to someone else you love, but you don't know. Soulmate. Let go of control issues. All right, Saj, I'm going to leave it there. You guys let me know what's going on.